course, the number of ways of getting from here back here. If, forgive me for my cold language, if it is. Boom! Boom, 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 boom. If it is. So to make sense out of walks, allowing negative steps, you have to restrict the size of the steps. So an exercise is for you also, the number of ways of getting from the origin. Of course, let's see if somebody here is uh, smart. Um, um, fine, fine, yeah, it's fine. Uh, how many ways can you get from the origin, uh, back to the origin using 11 steps? With the steps. In how many ways using the you only use one unit is it, the maximum. How many ways to get from the origin back on using eleven steps? Okay, this is easy. Using one step. Uh four. No, one step. One step. One step. No. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Sorry. If you got the origin back to the origin, maybe didn't mention. Oh, okay. Yeah, origin back to the origin. So of course it has to be even. So the number of ways, let's call it, of course, is zero. So that's really easy. But an even is also easy. Uh, it's an easy exercise uh, for you to do. And let me tell you how, why it's easy. Because if you go, it, it's easy. It's a, if it's two steps, you walk 2K. Okay, two K steps it is W and two N minus two K step and S. And then you have two K to K ways. And, and then there are seven ways to merge them. Okay, how to merge them? Uh, N to K. And then you go to Maple, you apply the Zalbert algorithm, and you get a nice answer. Easy, easy, easy. Not easy, 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 but easy. <coughs> but now, I have guessed using experimentation. Consider the following variation. You are not allowed to go under the M-axis. Now are you allowed to go beyond this. So let's restrict attention to this three a one of them. No, six one of them. Three eight ten. How many ways to walk from the origin back to the origin using two n steps? A uh, Michael. How many ways? Do you know? Uh, using how many steps? Two n. Two n steps. How many ways? Of course, you don't know, there's no obvious answer. So I am a guesser, about 10 years ago, for the computer program that uh, <coughs> computed by Bruce Force and made an amazing, amazing conjecture. That the number of steps is something very explicit. Sitting to the power n, 5, 6, times 11, 6, da da da, times 5, 6, plus n minus 1. Okay. Something explicit, never mind. Very, very nice, close form. Of course, for the same reason, 2 plus 1 is 0. And nobody, not Anna Gessel, not Gizzard Stanley, Name anybody in the university of comatologists could not do it, and they tried very, very hard. They tried the old clever ways. They were too clever. So, what I propose to my two collaborators who are great computer wizards is to use the holonomic andas. Try to find something more general. Instead of trying to find a formula, for the number of ways of getting from the origin back to the origin in two and steps, consider the more general thing. The F and R. F and XY. 
number of walks using the four fundamental steps staying in this region from the origin to the point x over y. Something much more general, featuring three discrete variables, n, x, and y. So what people did before, they experimented, look at the computer screen, and try to get an explicit nice answer. They try to find nice tilde x, y, hoping they want to get nice tilde n, x, y, with three variables, they can simply plug in x equals zero, y equals zero, and get this in a special case. But they fail because they were too clever. But we are dumb. We do things by brute force. I asked my colleagues to find conjecture, something extremely, extremely ugly, using the so-called holonomic ansatz with the characters in n, x, and y of huge orders, order 20, then you need 10 gigabytes to fill the computer. If you print this, this ugly description of this general function in this book, it won't be. You need like 10 volumes of this to describe this function. Nevertheless, it's finite. And luckily for trees, now they have computer memory. We don't have to waste paper to print it out. So they use the so-called holonomic ansatz with annotation of what I told you before, when we see variables, and rigorously proved, proved that this ugly description is exactly corresponds to the combinatorial meaning of this by proving the obvious recurrences, namely that f of n x comma y is f of n minus one comma x minus one y plus da da. Okay. If right now it's x comma y, then a day, a day ago, yesterday, you were either x minus 1. And they proved that this satisfies this and the obvious initial conditions. And also, by computer, of course, it's such a huge object. So automatically proved that this ugly thing. Now, they took this ugly object and plugged in x equals 0, y equals 0. And it was still ugly, much nicer, but still ugly of tenth order. But then there is another with few seconds you can prove if something is ugly to make it you go to the beauty salon. You can make it ugly <laughs> if it exists a nice uh, version you can make it. So then they had operated beautify and it comes for them. And lo and behold it became exactly I guess it's conjecture. So there it is. So that was a big triumph to the holonomic ansatz. And something that is interesting because it was not clear at all that it was a priori guaranteed to work. It was a gamble. And if you give me another problem in the in the, in three dimensions or more complicated works, there is no guarantee at all that it will work. Of course, one of you or somebody can come tomorrow and and find a decisive algorithm that decides for each such problem that you can do it. Then it will be very interesting for five minutes, and then this whole class of problems will become utterly boring, including this one uh, up, uh, behind sight, if this will happen in the future. But hopefully, it will not happen in some time to come. So there was uh, the thing I don't have to mention. The other, even more exciting problem, a conjecture that was open for millions of years. In other words, for 30 years in enumeration. Because in relation is the area of science. It was done by George Andrews, a conjecture. By George Andrews and the late Dave Robbins. There's something in commentary, something very important, totally symmetric play partition. I don't have time to tell you. And then if you so-called Q count them, you get something extremely nice. And nobody could prove it. They tried very, very hard. Nobody could prove it. And using the same methodology of getting something extremely ugly, getting something more general, finding an ugly description using lots of gigabytes that takes lots of computers, 
and then specializing back to the special case and getting something still 